guys welcome back to storybook crochet this is part two of the um witch's brew cauldron crochet pattern so if you need part one i will have that link down in the description below in part two we are going to be making these handles for our cauldron and we're going to be making all of these bubbles so let's grab our different colors of yarn that we need i use two different greens in this but you can use one color um, and then we'll make the drip too and we will need some of, more of our gray yarn to make the handles. So let's grab all those supplies and we'll get going. All right, so we're gonna make the handles and obviously I've already made one. So I'm just gonna show you how to make the next one and then you'll we'll just pause and go ahead and make both of them um, so we can sew those on. So you're gonna wanna grab your gray yarn and your hook and we're gonna start with this loop part first. So you're going to chain 24. All right, once you have your chain complete, we're going to slip stitch to the very first um, chain that we made. So make your slip stitch, making sure not to twist your chain up. So you'll just insert your hook into that first one, making sure that your chain is not twisted and make your slip stitch and then we're going to chain one okay so we're going to do a series of stitches here so the first thing we're going to do is four single crochets so you'll start in that first chain there with your slip stitch make a single crochet and then make three more Okay, so we have our four single crochets. Next, we're going to make four half double crochets. So you're gonna yarn over, insert your hook, pull your loop through. You'll have three loops on your hook. Then you're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. And then do that three more times. Okay, so we have our four single crochets, four half double crochets. The next um, section, we are going to be making eight single crochets. Okay, after our eight single crochets, we will now make four half double crochets. All right, after the four half double crochets, we will make another four single crochets. All right, so now that finishes off all of our stitches, so we're just gonna slip stitch to that very first single crochet that we made and finish off your yarn. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and just weave both of these ends in. We're not gonna use these to sew anything. So weave those in and then we're going to make the little connector piece that we'll be sewing onto the cauldron. Okay, so this is what our handle looks like and now we're going to make the connector. So just grab your yarn and we're going to make our slip uh, knot here and then you're going to chain four. Okay, in that second chain from our hook there, we're going to just single crochet across so you'll have three single crochets made. All right, when you get those three made, just chain one, turn it over, and then single crochet across. So this counts as row two. 
And you're just going to repeat that process of chaining one turn, three single crochets, until you have a total of nine rows of single crochets. So go ahead and complete your nine rows and then I will show you how to sew it all together. All right, once you have your nine rows made, we're going to cut a longer tail as we will use this to sew everything together. Okay, you're gonna wanna grab your needle and let's go ahead and weave in this shorter tail here to get that out of our way. So I'm just gonna weave it in that, that row right above that tail and then go ahead and snip that off. And then grab your long tail. So the first part of this, what we're gonna do is grab our handle and we're gonna wrap it around the top part. Okay, and then just go ahead and sew that together, the two ends together. Okay, then I'll do one more on the edge here. And then you're just gonna take that and you're gonna sew it onto your cauldron like this one. Just make sure it's all even on the other side. So sew that directly onto the cauldron and then we'll meet back and then we're gonna start making our bubbles. Okay, so the first part for our bubbles that we're gonna do is we're gonna need to make a base to be able to sew those on. So we're going to make a circle that we're going to fit in here and we'll use those um, back loops from this round to sew the, that onto there. So to get started, grab your green yarn. You're gonna make a magic ring. And then in that magic ring, you're going to put six single crochets. Okay, when you make your six, go ahead and pull that tail so you close your opening. And then we'll move on to round two. So for round two, we're gonna put two single crochets in each stitch around, making increases. So we're gonna increase six times, which will give us a total of 12 single crochets at the end of round two. Okay, I'm gonna grab my stitch marker at this point. So for round three, you're gonna start off with one single crochet and then you're gonna increase in the next stitch. So one single crochet and then increase. All right, at this point, you should have a total of 18 single crochets. So for round two, we're just gonna keep those increases going and we're gonna make two single crochets and then increase in that third stitch. So this is just like the very bottom of the cauldron that we made, same basic pattern there. So again, two single crochets and then increase in the third stitch. So repeat that around until you get to the end of this round where you will have a total of 24 single crochets. Okay, so moving on to round five, we're going to do three single crochets and then increase. So the next couple rounds will be the same pattern. So you're going to do this for seven rounds, increasing in each round. So this one is three single crochets and increase. The next will be four single crochets increase. 
then five, and then six. So I'm gonna write this up on the screen for you so we just don't have this repetitiveness going on. So you can read that while you finish off the base. We will meet back to finish off the last round, which is round eight together. So I will see you at that part. All right, so for our last round, which will be round eight, we are just going to single crochet around. So just one in each stitch around. So go ahead and finish that, and then we will um, finish this off, and I'll show you how to sew it onto your cauldron. Okay, so after round eight, we are finished. So go ahead and slip stitch to that very next stitch. And then you're going to want to cut a long tail for this. All right, so for the next step, you're going to want to grab your fiber fill and go ahead and fill your cauldron. But you're not going to want to fill but um, above this um, back loop that we left. Keep it below that. And then you can also add more stuffing as you um, are sewing this part on, as you feel like you need some more. So go ahead and take this after you have filled your cauldron up. And then I just kind of flip this up because it makes it a little bit easier. But you're going to grab the back loop on the cauldron and then grab this uh, corresponding stitch on the, um, the base for our bubbles. And you're just going to sew around just the same way that you did with the um, lip of the cauldron. Okay, so go ahead and sew this all the way around in the same way. And then add more stuffing if you need to before you close and then weave in your end okay so we will meet back after that and we will start making the bubbles okay so this is what the top part should now look like of your cauldron so we're gonna go ahead and make the small bubbles now you can make any amount of this that you want um, and I just kind of make some and then go ahead and sew them on and see if I need more so we're going to start out with a magic ring and in that magic ring you're going to make six single crochets. Okay, so close that opening. And then for round two, you're going to increase around. So make two single crochets in each stitch around. That will give you a total of 12 single crochets at the end of round two. Alright, so that is round two. So for rounds three and four, you're just going to single crochet around, one in each stitch around. So each of those rounds will have 12 single crochets. So go ahead and finish off your two rounds of single crochets and then we'll meet back to do the last round. Alright, so for round five, which will be our last round, we're just going to decrease around. So you're just making six decreases. Now I go ahead and make three and at that point, I go ahead and add a little bit of fiber fill to this bubble. It won't take a lot since it's smaller. So just grab a pinch and stuff that in there. Okay, and then I go ahead and make my last three decreases. And then go ahead and slip stitch to that very first one that you made and cut a little bit of a tail. All right, grab your needle and we're going to close that opening and then I'll show you how I sew it onto the cauldron. So just go up through 
or in sorry in one stitch and out the other and just pull that tight and you'll do that all the way around the opening okay and then I just go through a couple more times to make sure that stays closed okay so now you're going to want to take your cauldron and you're just gonna sew the bubble on directly to the green part of our cauldron. All right, so go ahead and make a bunch of small um, bubbles and you can start off with maybe five and then we'll make some large ones and then you can arrange them and see if you need to add any more small or large ones. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make our large bubble now. So you're gonna start it off the same. It's gonna be a magic ring with six single crochets. Alright, for round two, you're just going to increase around. So make 12 single crochets for round two. Okay, so for round three, you're just going to single crochet in the first stitch and then increase in the next. So repeat that pattern around. You'll have 18 single crochets after round three. Okay, so that finishes off round three. So now for rounds um, four through six, you're just going to single crochet around. So for three rounds, single crochet around, and then we'll meet back at the end of round six. Okay, so moving on to round seven, we're gonna start our decreasing. So you're just gonna single crochet in that first stitch and then decrease over the next two and just repeat that pattern around to start closing off this bubble. So single crochet, decrease. All right, once you finish that round, let's go ahead and grab some um, fiber fill here and stuff that before we finish off our last round to close it off. All right, so the last round will be round eight and you're just gonna decrease around six times. Okay, after that last uh, decrease there, go ahead and slip stitch to the first, close that opening just like we did on the last bubble, and go ahead and sew it to your cauldron. So go ahead and make all of your bubbles that you wanna make and get them sewn on. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to make a little drip that will come down here like a bubble is dripping down. So um, go ahead and finish your bubbles and then we'll make that and then our cauldron will be finished. 
Okay, to start the drip, we're gonna start off with a magic ring. And in this magic ring, we're gonna start off with six single crochets. All right, go ahead and pull that tail closed. And in the next round, round two, we're going to increase around. So put your two single crochets in each stitch. Okay, so that should give you a total of 12 single crochets. For rounds three and four, you're just going to single crochet around. So one in each stitch. So each of those rounds will be 12 stitches. So go ahead and do those two single crochet rounds and then we'll meet back for round five. Okay, so for round five, we are going to single crochet in the first stitch and then we're going to decrease over the next two. And you're just going to repeat that a pattern around a total of four times. So one single crochet and then decrease. Okay, so once you have those four done, we are now going to do round 6 through 13 are just going to be one in each stitch around. So one single crochet in each stitch for round 16 through 13. So go ahead and work that around and then we will meet back to finish it off. Okay, so go ahead and finish that off with a longer tail and this is what the drip should look like. So when you sew this on, you're going to grab your cauldron and you're going to kind of drape the top edge there over the lip of the cauldron and then you're going to just sew all the way around so that it is formed to the um, contour of the cauldron here so go ahead and sew that on and then weave that in finish putting all your bubbles on and then we'll meet back to finish the, off this video all right guys our cauldron is now finished and this is what it should look like um Comment down in the description below and tell me what colors you used for your bubbles. And um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button. You can also hit that bell uh, notification button and that will notify you as soon as a new pattern is available on my channel. So thanks for joining me today and I will see you in the next video.